So we're basically catching fish on all sides of this point. We've, we've caught big fish on that side, straight on, on this side. And I just feel like we can cover a lot of water with this Tokyo rig. We're able to kind of keep the bait moving. Actually, there's, there's a fish right there. Another big one. <laughs> I don't, yeah, a good one. He was way out there. So that right there is why I throw that seven six heavy because there's sometimes they'll hit on a real long cast coming right at me oh wow dang they're so strong here <laughs> oh come here there he is nice Oh man, this spot is loaded up. We have hammered them here. Another beautiful fish on the Tokyo rig. They are destroying that cut tail. Wow. Check out where that one's hooked right there. He ain't ever coming off. Holy cow. They are getting it. All right, let's get her back in the water. Okay guys, so here's the setup. Uh, Ryan and I, we just pulled up on this, uh, just a real flat, subtle point. It's got some pea gravel with a little bit of chunk rock. And uh, you know, Ryan started throwing this Tokyo rig, jacked a big one right out of the gate. I picked it up and we have hammered on them here. Oh, and wow. basically what it is, it's just, a, it's just a standard Tokyo rig. I got two three eighths ounce weights on there. You know, it's a little extra noise, they'll clang together. Uh, just a five alt um, worm hook, heavy duty worm hook. And we're rocking a seven and three quarter inch cut tail. Green pumpkin, watermelon red. What we're doing is we're dragging and we're shaking it. So with this Tokyo rig, we get to keep the, this bait on the bottom and really impart a lot of action. A lot of the big fish this week have came on the bottom. We've caught some nice fish on the jigs, but this Tokyo rig has really stood out. And um, you know we've we've caught them on the cut tail as well as a big cinco, uh, but this this cut tail seems to be the deal today. A little bit more tail action, uh, but what we can do is uh, you know we can drag it, and then also when we want to we can shake it, and so it just has a lot of action. It's free swinging. Even when you lift it, the weights will swing out, and then the worm will follow it. So it's just. It's a presentation that they don't see very much. It's a great way to catch these fish on soft plastics. So what's cool about this Tokyo rig is you really can rig any of your favorite soft baits on this deal. You know, whether it's creature baits, whether it's worms, swim baits, um, you know, it's just a presentation that, that you can use for any soft bait. Um, you know, I really like throwing Yamamoto on this deal because I feel like you know most of our Yamamoto soft baits are really soft and they're really salty. So whenever you have a you know a lot of line out on a cast and you get a bite, you have plenty of time to take up all your slack and they're not going to drop that bait. You know they they bite on it. It's soft. They feel the salt, taste the salt, and um, our hookup percentage has been really good today. We've been hooking them all really deep, so they they definitely want it for sure. Maybe that one's a little better. Yeah, pretty decent one. Got this flat point over here and they're just kind of ganged up. And uh, we're just picking up, oh, nice one. We're just picking them off with the uh, cut tail, Tokyo rig. Look at that one. God, it's a beast. Man, the, the cool thing about this Tokyo rig is it keeps your plastics on the bottom, but it still allows, you know, there's a little leader there that allows you to impart a lot of action. So we're dragging, we're shaking, you know, kind of mixing it up and uh, got that cut tail on the back, that seven inch cut tail. And um, man, they're just eating it. That, that tail's probably back there dancing as you're shaking it. Man, some good ones. It does get them pretty good. God. <laughs> he wasn't coming undone. 
So the rod reel and line I'm using today, I'm actually throwing a pretty beefy rod. This is the rod I like to flip with. It's a seven six heavy action Abu Garcia Veracity rod. Um, throwing 20 pound fluorocarbon line. Got a uh, high speed MGX reel. And we're, we're dealing with a lot of big fish. So obviously I, you know, I want a beefier setup, but you know, if it was clearer water, I would probably downsize, but this, this water here has a nice green tint to it. So I feel like I can get away with that 20 pound line and just go ahead and bump up to that seven, six heavy action and, um, you know, really get the hook in them on those long casts. Another good one. Another Tokyo cuttail fish. Come here. There we go. Nice. Look at that one. Sheesh, they're eating this thing today. Check out how they got it. Perfect hook set. All the way in the roof of the mouth where you want them. They are eating that thing. Nice one. 